loves these beautiful plants. They're the symbol for love. Everybody likes to take care of them and make them look pretty. And unfortunately, we do have a few different kinds of pests that can get on these beautiful plants. We have a few different kinds like thrips. We can also experience problems with Japanese beetles. We can see problems with aphids, as well as another pest known as the rose slug. And these all attack different portions of your rose plant. If you are concerned about thrips, you're gonna be looking in the flower area. That's where they like to infest. There's a couple of different kinds that you can encounter, but the most common one is the Western flower thrips, and they infest up here in the petals. And what you'll notice with these insects is small, very tiny, very tiny creatures moving around in the petals. They're almost indistinguishable from just dust. It's very difficult to see them. You almost need a hand lens to take a closer look at them. Symptoms of thrips are gonna include looking for the damage that they cause with their interesting mouth parts. Their mouths are half sort of piercing and half slurping. And so they will puncture the petal of the rose and leave a little puncture mark. And then as they slurp those fluids up, they leave behind speckling damage or stippling damage on the petals. You may also notice their fecal material. It's usually shiny and black. It looks like somebody has flecked motor oil into the, the petals of your flower. If you wanna control these thrips, you can go out with a product like Piola. You could also use neem oil or spinosad. The only warning I would give you with spinosad is to apply that maybe in the evening time uh, when the bees are not flying around the plant. And that way you can protect those important pollinators, but remove the thrips that you don't want around. With that, we'll move into the stem of the plant. That's where you get aphids. Everybody's experienced aphids on their different kinds of plants. The symptoms that they can leave behind are again stippling as well as piles of honeydew that they leave behind. Their fecal material is sort of a sticky, gross substance that builds up on the plant. Aphids, you can control those in the early morning with a jet spray of water. Just get your hose out and take a big jet spray and bl blow them off there and they'll fall to the ground. They're too dumb to find their way back up onto the plant. You could also try spinosad or neem oil for those as well. If you go to the leaves of the plant, you can experience two uh, distinct pests that will infest those areas. The first one is the Japanese beetle. It'll also attack the petals of the plant and it'll shred those into a fine powder. If it's feeding on the leaves though, it'll leave behind skeletonized, doily looking leaves on the plant. These are big orange and green uh, beetles with white spots on their butt. You can control these with a lot of different kinds of products. You can treat the leaves with carbaryl. You can treat them with bifenthrin. You can also go with piola, and that is an organic option that will provide you about 10 to maybe even 11 or 12 days of protection. If you're gonna try and treat the beetles in the flower portion of the plant, I would again caution you to treat at night so you avoid interacting with the bees that are visiting your roses, but you'll be able to have that product dried and the residues will be there to protect the petals from the Japanese beetle. The other pest on the, the leaves that you can get is called the rose slug, and that's a bit of a misnomer. It's not a slug at all. It looks sort of like a caterpillar, but it's actually a baby wasp. And so the rose slug will feed on the top and bottom parts of the rose leaf. They will scrape it away and they create this window pane damage in the leaf. You can almost see through it after they've removed several of the layers on the leaf. As they get bigger, they'll feed all the way through the plant and they will create skeletonizing damage as well. Those again can be controlled with just about any of the products I've mentioned before, neem oil, spinosad, piola. Those are some of the more organic options. Or you can go with strict insecticides like carbaryl or bifenthrin. That's how you can protect your plant. Keep them looking beautiful so you can have these nice roses out in front of your house. I hope that helps. Just keep your eyes open for these pests and you'll be able to control them.